homes are threatened. Well, we've been seeing it all over the country, even right here in Reno, as protests are working to bring attention to how police handle conflict and race as a factor, race relations too. So acting city manager and police chief Jason Soto is pushing the Reno Police Department to make a change. Jefferson Tyler is live outside the studio with details here. Jefferson, what step is Soto taking? He's instructed the active police chief to drop a new policy on officers using excessive force. Now, he spoke to the city council at their meeting yesterday. He's asked for the policy to require officers to intervene and report if another officer is using a sex excessive force. Acting Chief uh, Tom Robinson is working on the details and putting it in writing. Currently, those aspects are trained, but not in a formal policy. Soto says he wants that to change. All of these steps and measures um, need to take place um, given um, what is happening in our country. We must continue this. There's no one quick fix. You're not going to add any sentence or paragraph that automatically fixes a problem that is systemic and institutionalized and includes everything from racism to implicit bias. Uh, so we have to keep working. The Reno Sparks NAACP says they applaud the effort, but they are working on their own possibility of having an independent civilian police interview review process to build trust and accountability with law enforcement. Covering the story.